Oh my goodness. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, y'all. Welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. I'm up in this balloon again, y'all. Mm. Woo! Zoom, zoom. I like to fly away. Said I like to fly away. Said I like to fly away. Zoom, 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 baby. I like to fly away. Said I like to fly away. Wow, this story, um, I wanted to bring to y'all, and I wanted to make sure I give a shout out to all the people in California that are trying to survive these California fires. Um, stay safe. May God bless you and keep y'all safe. Uh, I, I know that y'all experience this every year. It just seems that it gets worse and worse and worse. And now you got thousands and thousands and thousands of acres burned. I'm, my heart goes out to you. My prayers go out to every, each and every one of y'all who have lost your homes, your families, your animals, your livestock, everything. Just burn. James Baldwin said, the fire next time. And um, sometimes uh, it's true in the meaning of what that means. But I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to move on from that. Uh, my prayers go out to y'all. There was a teacher, um, you know, on Zoom because most of the kids are just like my grandkid are doing school from Zoom. Well, the teacher collapses and dies of coronavirus in front of shocked students while teaching a lesson on Zoom. My God. A teacher is suspected to have died of coronavirus after struggling to breathe and then collapsing during a Zoom lecture. Paola D. Simone, 46, a professor at Wisdale, Argentina, um, died on Wednesday. Wow. The professor complained she was not feeling very well and was suffering breathing difficulties as she taught a Zoom lesson. Her condition then worsened, and soon students were begging her to give them her home address so they could send an ambulance. She, Ms. Damone reportedly, however, managed to gasp, I can't, I can't, before collapsing in the middle of the lecture. Lord have mercy. In days leading up to the tragedy, she had expressed concerns about her health. The teacher had been suffering from persistent coronavirus symptoms, including a cough, for more than a month. Local media reported her husband, a doctor, had found her dead when he arrived home. Students, friends, and colleagues have paid their tribute to her as they described her as an unforgettable teacher. Coronavirus is on, on the rise in Argentina with some. 4,700, 471,000, I'm sorry, 800 cases and 9,739 deaths as the count has been reported around 10,000 new infections per day since August. Professor D. Simone leaves behind a daughter and previously said her husband had been very busy fighting the pandemic. Hmm. Writing on Twitter at the end of August, the professor said, It is very complicated. I have been here with the virus for more than four weeks, and the symptoms do not go away. My husband is exhausted from working so much at the moment. Distressing video of her collapse on Zoom has been circulated on social media. Student, student Anna Bricker said, 
My classmates and I were in the class. We were the last ones that she spoke to. She began by saying she had pneumonia. We saw it was worse than in previous classes. At one point, she could not continue passing slides nor speak, and she became unbalanced. Another of her students described Professor D. Simone as an excellent teacher, but above all, an excellent person and loved and admired by all her students. The university confirmed her death in a statement saying it had left, the, left them with a deep, deep pain. It added, Paola was a passionate and dedicated teacher, a great person with 15 years experience. Another student says she was an unforgettable teacher, one of those teachers who would give you a hand in everything, who make you love what you study, who go out of their way for their students. We're going to miss you a lot. Uh, Fonsudo Cruz, an academic coordinator, said, farewell to a friend. I'll miss you. We'll all miss you. He added that she carried on teaching despite not being able to shake a persistent cough. Wow. So, she died teaching her class. And she did that right in front of her students. Well, my heart and prayers go out to her family and all the students, anybody who witnessed that trauma. Um, people want to keep saying the coronavirus ain't real. Something is happening. Something is happening. What y'all think about that? Y'all think that she died from coronavirus or you think she has some other kind of underlying lying, um, ailment that made her fall out, say she can't breathe and die like that on the spot? Give me y'all opinion below. Because I want to know how many of y'all really think this coronavirus is real and how many of you think it's not. I mean, and be honest about it. I'll see you in the next video.